Even when it's rainy, everything's bright. Probably completely dull gray, but then everything's still as it would be in the sun. And I think on the days it's actually pouring down rain. I love it. But I mean, I've always liked the rain. Yeah. Makes sense. But then in the sense that you never know what you're going to say. And like, you're walking back to the dorms and over the past there's a monkey. Like, two feet above your head. And then we have the baby monkey. Because they're just climbing around as well. <laughs> chasing after their parents and their family. And you might see it like a couple times a week, but it never ceases to amaze you. And you stand like dumbfounded on the path. Which will do the same exact thing when I'm walking through the dorms at night. And you stop right in front of the rancho, and you look up at the sky, and it's absolutely clear, and there's like a million stars. Or you can see the moon perfectly. And it's crazy, because you don't see that at home. And it's not something that you get used to because, well, at least for me, I don't expect to see it every day. I don't expect to see things in the trees or to see the sky so perfectly. And so what I do here, it, it's still incredible every time. Even though I've probably seen it a hundred times by now. And it doesn't get boring. And even though I'm not constantly on survey or out in the canals or on the beach or in the rainforest, the space alone is surrounded in things that can amaze you at any given moment. Like the day the kiss kitty flew into the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know why there's a bird in the kitchen, <laughs> but there was. And it's pretty cool, but pretty weird at the same time. <laughs> Nothing's normal here. Which is good. Normal boy. But then you got on bird survey. Not seeing many birds, but I mean that happens. But you're there to find out if there are birds. And then you see an ant eater <laughs> on the side of the canal on a tree. You're not looking for ant eaters, but there's one right there. That's pretty cool.